Hi friend, quite often I'm asked what is in my setup, how I'm using it, that happens usually on stream, so it is time to make a video about it. My desk is on electronic legs from IKEA, I bought them separately and I use a just custom wooden desktop, but original one that I had and used for a few years was a little bit too small to fit my PC on the desk. I upgraded and got much wider desk, Carlby, and now I have 240 centimeters wide and 61 centimeters deep desk. Could it be a little bit deeper? Yes, but it is fine. There is enough space for work. I just was used to my old desk, which was 80 centimeters in depth, but that wasn't wide enough. If you are looking for desk, do not buy those in the office section of the IKEA, but go straight to the kitchen and look on for kitchen countertops. And this one is Carlby kitchen countertop. Electronic desk still holds it fine. And I'm using one of those Alex drawer units for support and also to hide all the junk what I have around me, all the cables, memory cards, whatever, all that stuff. On the right side behind the desk, I have NASA just empty space for my bags and stuff like that. On the desk I have desk shell from GrooveMade. It is very handy to have multiple levels on the desk because you can hide behind it some cables, Kindle, whatever, and you have one more level on the desk to have something on top. I'm using it as a stand for my laptop. Also I have my iPhone charger here that is magnetic stand basically it's you it is using standard apple magnetic charger and my phone just stays here during the day okay how i am using screens my main monitor is apple studio display i got it after about five months five and a half months waiting for delivery and I'm using it as my main monitor for programming and all that stuff. On my right, I have a vertical display and that is 24 inch 4K monitor. And it is mostly used for chat applications. I have Slack open at here, Discord, and so on. On the top, that is Samsung M7 32 inch 4K monitor, which has built in smart TV functionality as well. When I'm streaming, what I'm doing often, then I'm using that monitor for all my streaming software. I have OBS open at here, and also I have my stream disk application open at here and Pomodoro timer. If I'm not streaming, I just turning the screen off or I'm using it as my music player or I have some video running on it just for entertainment. On the left from me I have my MacBook Pro. I have 16 inch M1 Pro MacBook Pro. <laughs> Basically that is base configuration. 16 gigabytes of RAM, but uh, one terabyte SSD because 512 gigabytes of SSD is okay, -ish, but with all those Xcode installations, with all those uh, when you are testing a lot of Xcode versions, all that stuff, then better to have some extra space. So one terabyte is kind of my comfortable size for it. A little bit more to the left is my iPad. I'm not using it very often when I'm working at home because I have enough screens here. But sometimes I am using some iPad specific applications, then I have iPad next here and it is connected to my MacBooks keyboard and mouse. About keyboard and mouse, it is kind of tough to say which one I am using because I am switching those often, but right now I have iQnix ZX75 as my keyboard with Holy Panda switches. If you are into mechanical keyboards, you know what it is. I changed those and I did some basic modifications like tape mode and so on for that keyboard, but nothing crazy. Currently, my mouse of choice is MX Master 3S. This is nice mouse. I like it, but think twice if you are buying white version of it. It's getting dirty even if I'm trying to clean it very often. So that's one con. Sometimes I'm switching to the MX vertical mouse for ergonomic reasons. Currently, I'm using Orbitk Slim Desk Mat to cover my desk. It is easier to use mouse on it and yeah it's kind of make everything a little bit more better organized I have holder for cables here and so on second keyboard on my desk is connected to the PC currently it is low free mechanical keyboard and another Logitech mouse that is MX Master 2S Logitech mouse bought it 
I don't know, five years ago. It is still going and works just fine. I will add PC specs into the description, but basically that is Intel i9 PC with 32 gigabytes of RAM, 512 SSD and Radeon RX 5700 XT GPU. I used that machine as a Hackintosh for a while, but currently with M1, M1 Pro, M1 Max machines, there is no reason to build Hackintosh anymore. So that is my streaming PC and also I am using it as my gaming PC. If I'm switching to gaming mode, then all the displays are connected to the PC. Yes, also Apple Studio display and I'm using my Apple Studio display as a gaming screen, yes, it is just 60 hertz of uh, refresh rate, not a gaming monitor, but I do not play competitive games. I'm just playing for fun and 60 hertz refresh rate is just fine for me. And I really appreciate bright colors and yeah, really good looking colors in the games on the top studio display. And yeah, my approach for cable management is throw them behind the... <laughs> throw them behind the monitors or uh, connect them somehow under the table and pretend that they do not exist. I'm just changing my setup relatively often and um, therefore that doesn't make sense to make very good kind of cable management. Currently my setup is in the living room corner and uh, if I will move to the separate room for the office then maybe I will do that better. Currently it is kind of flexible solution. There are pros of course as well to be next to the kitchen. I am just a few steps away from my coffee machine that helps to keep coffee level into the blood very high. <laughs> Okay, audio interface. As you may see, I'm using Shure MV7 microphone. Before I used the same microphone what I have on camera, but there is some difference. Let's switch to the microphone from on the camera. And this is how microphone on camera sounds. You see the difference. And this is how microphone this microphone sounds. It kind of looks dumb that I have to have this microphone in front of my face, but that really helps when someone else is at home and there are a lot of noises around and then that helps for live streams and uh, video calls. Yeah, and microphone has two cables connected. You may be curious why mini USB cable is connected and going straight to the, my display. And so that is connection to the Mac. And this cable is going to the audio interface. I'm using Berlinger audio interface, UMC 22 something, uh, whatever. And that audio interface is connected to the PC. Audio interface should make sound a little bit better. I don't know. Most likely that is so. MacOS doesn't handle that USB audio interface very well. So I started to use just USB connection to the Mac and audio interface to the PC. And next to me, I have shelf with random stuff in it. I'm trying to clean it time to time. I just sold and gave away quite a bit of keyboards and random stuff, but it still keeps filling up. And yeah, I'm cleaning that time to time. Now you probably hear how my dog is drinking water. <laughs> Yeah, that's my co-worker named Luca, that is Jack Russell Terrier. He's usually waiting for all the drinking procedures and all that stuff until the moment when I'm recording videos. As soon as I start to record videos, he's thirsty, he's walking around the room, he's drinking, doing all that funny stuff. When I'm working, when I'm programming, usually he just sleeping next to me in that couch and yeah, that is my also midday nap couch. I'm using autonomous ergo chair as my <laughs> chair and it is okay, but it is starting to wear out already. I have it for more than three years already. Okay, what else I didn't mention? Lights, yeah, you may see there is quite a few RGB lights, but nothing very specific. Also, I will link that in the description. Why I have so many lights? Well, it is eight at the morning and it is still pitch dark here without lights because I'm living on North Europe and days in winter are very, very short. Oh, and yes, I almost forgot that tiny small keyboard that is really working keyboard. I can use it for copy paste. Do I really need it? No, of course, that is just for fun. Stack overflow and copy paste. That is just ongoing joke for programmers, right? Okay, here he is done with drinking and walking around. <laughs> yeah, and this camera, what I'm using for this video, that is uh, 
Canon ESR with 15 to 35 uh, millimeters lens on it. I'm using it as webcam as well. I'm using setup like that for a few months already. I'm planning to use this setup like that during all the winter, basically until I will, I don't know, move my desk somewhere else. So then we'll see. Okay, I think I covered everything. If you have any specific questions, feel free to ask in comments. And yeah, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.